Hey, welcome to the Vintage Vibe, where we do reviews of mostly 1970s audio equipment. And I'm going to try to not make this your typical review site, you know, where um, some guy kind of pans in on the front of the amplifier and kind of moves the camera back and forth with some music going on in the background. No, we're going to talk to you a little bit about, um, you know, the history of the unit, tell you a little bit about, um, you know, what we can around the serviceability of the unit, uh, a little bit on how it sounds or what our impressions are of it, and uh, kind of give it a yay or a nay. It is a pretty smart looking unit without a doubt. It's nice and heavily built. Uh, the sides are a, you know, a fake rosewood, but you know, well enough done. The top kind of has a really neat block diagram that's scripted onto it. Um, nice heavy thick knobs on it, and heavy face plate. I mean, it's all good quality. Kind of neat how they've got the teardrop uh, kind of on the knobs, which makes it a little bit easier to kind of move it into position. These Optonicas are what they call Delta powered. Basically what that is, is that you have three transformers inside this amplifier. One for the left channel, one for the right channel, as well as one for the preamplifier. And it runs that preamplifier uh, in pure class A. Maybe not the most efficient or ideal when it comes to um, power amplifiers. I guess it could be disputed one way or the other, but it is definitely a unique design trait for a preamplifier. A lot of people do say that your preamplification or your um, front end, i.e., your tuner, your CD player, your record player, whatever your source is, makes the most difference when it comes to the quality of music. It's a pretty rare amplifier where, as uh, kind of amp amplifiers go. I don't see a lot of them around. This is the first one that I've come across. Um, it is kind of unique inside that it has power modules. Um, they are equivalent to the Seikens that you see in um, uh, a few other kind of brands of the era. About 50 watts channel. It feels like it's got a lot more than that. Uh, it have, packs quite a punch, that amplifier. It is very clean sounding. It has a good bottom end, nice and tight and full. Um, you really don't need to fart around much with the tone controls on it. I tweak it once in a while because I'd like to listen at a lower volume, so I, uh, I'll flick loudness on at nighttime just to kind of firm up that bottom end. But the amp really doesn't need it. It doesn't strain, it doesn't distort. Um, well, I guess it could at some point, that all is uh, kind of relative to how loud you turn it, but I haven't had any problems with it or uh, put it in a situation where it has distorted. And there's a close-up of those Seikin output uh, units. Another picture of the unit when I put on my bench to clean it all up. As for cleaning, there's not much to this one. Pretty easy to get in there to clean all the pods, uh, to adjust the bias and whatnot on it. Fairly easy to service. Talking about sources, why don't we put on uh, a record here. We'll throw some vinyl to it. This is a um, mid-range Sony belt drive turntable of the, um, the era, the 70s. Nice sounding unit, capable unit. And uh, we'll throw on some music. Take us a couple seconds to get up to speed here and then we will uh, drop the needle. When it comes to Optonica, we say yay. That's it, a quick piece on the Optonica SM3636. Uh, if you happen to find one out there, it is definitely worthwhile at least to give it a listen. Uh, you can't go wrong with it. Average use price for these units, um, Hard to say, there's not a lot of them out there. Four to five hundred dollars Canadian in our market here in 2019 wouldn't seem unreasonable. You can't get a lot for that price point nowadays. Uh, and certainly, you probably can't do as well as this for that type of dollars and cents. I figure you probably have to spend closer to about a thousand dollars to probably duplicate what this Optonica can actually do. Like always, enjoy and try to find that vintage vibe.